everyone, today I am doing an unboxing of a book box from A Box of Stories and I have been dying to know what's inside. This has been sat waiting for me to have a chance to sit down and film so that I can share the contents with you. As it says, your four surprise books inside. Very excited. Um, I've just taken the tape off so that I'm not fiddling around trying to get it open. If you're new to my channel, my name is Emma. I make videos about writing, indie publishing, and books. So yeah, very excited to have some new things to read. Now, when A Box of Stories reached out and asked if I'd like to see one of their book boxes, I was so impressed by the ethos of the company. So I'm just gonna share a little bit about how they work, how the boxes work before I open it and see what I got. Now, if you go on their website, which I'll link below, it says that 200,000 titles are published in the UK every year, which is like mind boggling. I didn't realize it was that many. It, that just seems so, just in this country, that's just so many books. And 17% of those go onto the bestseller lists. And I mean, obviously not all books can be bestsellers, <laughs> but if books don't go onto the bestseller lists, then they're less likely to sell as many copies they're not going to get as much attention and just not sell as well and obviously publishers print a few thousand of a book depending on how well they think it's going to do and if those books don't sell and the publisher doesn't know for sure they can only base it on guesses about how popular the book will be you know these books may never sell and according to their website 77 million books are destroyed every year and 83% of those are destroyed without ever having been read. So obviously there's a big environmental issue there and a box of stories are tackling that with their book box. So the way that they do that is they take books that have sold reasonably well but aren't your super well-known books and they put that into an algorithm which then combines with things like book reviews to come up with really exciting books that you probably won't have heard of, you probably won't have read, and those are going to go in your book box. Another thing I really like about them is that they give a proportion of their profits to literacy charities, so it's just warm and fuzzy and I like it. Now, the way that the boxes work is you choose the genre that you want, so they have fiction mixed, which is what I've gone for because it said it would have some non-fiction in it, and I like non-fiction. Um, crime, YA, light reads, historical fiction and latest releases. And so you choose your genre and then you can pick whether you want to just have a one-off box or if you want to subscribe. And there's like a small price break if you subscribe for a regular book box. So you can have it monthly, but you can choose your, your frequency. I like the fact you can just order one. So if you're feeling a bit stale in what you're reading, and need a bit of inspiration for something new, some new authors, some books you haven't read, then you can get one of these and you know you're not gonna have these books or you're very unlikely to have these books. And um, yeah, I like that. Also, you can give them as a gift. So I think if, you've, if you've still got someone for Christmas that you don't know what to buy for them, I think that this is really lovely because again, they're not gonna have them. You're not worrying about, oh, have they already read that? I don't know. It's coming from a really nice company. I think that's a great present to buy for somebody. So if you need some last minute gifts, I really would recommend that one. Of course, Christmas is nearly on us and their last orders are on the 20th of December. So if it's after that, then it might not get here for get to you for Christmas. But I would still consider this for birthdays. I mean, I just think this is a really nice gift idea. If you are thinking about getting one of these boxes, there is an affiliate link below, which means that you get four pounds off of a new subscription and I get a little bit too. So that's really nice, <laughs> win for everybody. So yeah, very excited to see what I've got in here. Okay, so let's open it up. It's a nice box, by the way. Totally can be reused to send stuff. I love reusing packaging. Oh, this is nice. So if you did buy this as a gift, it's got everything I just said inside the lid. So the person who gets it will know all of those things. So that's really nice. Let's see. Congratulations. Thank you. 
You've uncovered four hidden gems. Your box gets you access to our private group of book readers. Cool. Very nice. This is good as well. They've got brown paper packaging. I like that. So it's all like reusable packaging. That's nice. Ooh. Okay. So first one I'm going to go for is this one. It's huge. It's the size of my head. So this is The Ice Beneath Her by Camilla Grebe. The most gripping thriller you'll read all year. Do you know, I haven't read a thriller in ages, so I am well up for that. A detective haunted by the past, a psychological profiler terrified for her future, a vicious murder that pulls them together, a hunt for a killer that could break them. The cracks are beginning to show. Sounds exciting. It's a nice colour, a nice cover, and I like this colour. It's really pretty. Look at that. Mmm. I like that. Like I said, this is the mixed box, so it'll have a variety of things in here. Okay. Don't Tell Me You're Afraid by Giuseppe Catazella. Okay. Based on a remarkable true story, so we've got some non-fiction. Don't Tell Me You're Afraid is a moving, inspiring novel of a life lived in hope. Samia Omar grows up in war-torn Somalia, dreaming of being a world-class sprinter. She sleeps with a photo of Mo Farah by her bed and trains hard. After achieving a place on the national team to compete in the Beijing Olympics, she sets her sights on the lives of her family. Samia decides to join... Hang on. <laughs> I can't read very well because I don't wear my glasses to film because I don't like the glare on them, but <laughs> she sets her sights on the 2012 Games in London. That makes more sense. But with the war encroaching on the lives of her family, Samia decides to join her sister and make the treacherous journey to Europe, putting her life and her dreams in the hands of traffickers. Wow, that sounds really interesting. I also like books that have settings in countries I don't know very much about, and Somalia I don't know a huge amount about, so yeah, I like that. Okay, next one. Boy Erased, the book that inspired the film. Well, I haven't seen the film. So, have you seen the film? Tell me if you've read any of these. The Son of a Baptist Pastor, oh sorry, it's by Garrard Conley. The Son of a Baptist Pastor in small town Arkansas, Garrard Conley, okay, so it's, it's a, another true story, non-fiction, was outed to his parents at 19 and forced to attend a church-supported conversion therapy program that promised to cure him of homosexuality, oh wow. Through an institutionalised 12-step programme heavy on Bible study, he was supposed to emerge heterosexual, ex-gay, cleansed of impure urges and stronger in his faith in God for his brush with sin. Instead, even when faced with a harrowing and brutal journey, Garrard found the strength and understanding to break out in search of his true self and forgiveness. At times heartbreaking, at times triumphant, this memoir is a testament to love that survives despite all odds. Both of those sound like really inspiring, interesting books. Great. So then the last one, let's put that box in the glove. Things My Mother Told Me. I That's familiar, but I don't recognise the cover at all. I feel like, is there an album? What am I thinking of, please, in the comments? Is there an album that's like, Things My Mother Told Me? I'm not sure. I don't think it's this. Anyway, Tanya Atapatu. Okay. It was just sex, and it didn't mean anything. When Anjali finds out that Jack, her boyfriend of 10 years, has been cheating on her, it throws her world into chaos. Heartbroken, she feels the emptiness by embarking on a series of flings that her traditional Sri Lankan mother would mostly disapprove of. Yet she can no longer avoid her mother or Shanti, her distant older sister. And so begins her real journey, one that will make Anjali confront a past that she's desperate to forget. And maybe the past can also be a bridge to the future. Set in Bristol and Sri Lanka, so again, I like that because I don't really know anything about Sri Lanka. Things My Mother Told is a warm, moving and funny story about love, loss, family, cultural divides and the voices we hear in our heads. It will stay with you long after you've turned the final page. That sounds really, really good too. I like that. So we've got a real mixture here. I've got a thriller, two non-fiction memoir type books. And what would we call this? Contemporary fiction? This sounds a bit lighter as well. So yeah, that's a nice mixture there. Ooh, what will I start with? I think I fancy the thriller, just because I, re I haven't read a thriller in a really long time. So I think I'd enjoy that. And I like the sound of Boy Erased. That sounds really interesting. So, but tell me, have you read any of them? What would you read first? Yeah, exciting.
So if you like the look of one of these boxes, so you get four books in the genre that you've chosen and you probably don't already have them or haven't already read them. And I think it's a really nice way of just introducing you to some new books if you're feeling a bit kind of stale and bored and it's going to be books that you probably wouldn't have picked up yourself. And I think, again, that's a really nice gift for somebody because they probably don't already have these books. So I, I think that's lovely. Alternatively, of course, there's a subscription if you want to get a regular box of books. So yeah, I love it. If you're interested, do have a look at the link below. And as I say, that gives you some money off of a new subscription. So I hope you enjoyed that. Do tell me in the comments, like I said, which one would you read first? Have you read any of them? If you do decide to get a box, let me know and tell me what books you got because I would love to know. Do hit like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this one. And if I don't get a chance to tell you before, happy Christmas and I'll see you all soon. Take care.